It's a morning, day three. I'm all packed up. I got my tent airing out for the morning. Had a little bit of like dew build up, moisture build up in the tent last night. Sun shining, no wind. It's probably 50 something degrees. Got the moose edge drying out in the sun. Six o'clock in the morning. We got no wind yet, so I'm gonna take advantage of that. Head up to the top of the knob. Spend the morning glassing, seeing if we can see any bears. We've been seeing a couple, there's a cow moose that's been hanging out up in here. And then last night we glassed a bull down low by the river um, he had a pretty good start on his horns already they were just starting to palmate but they were, they were out past his ears so probably be a pretty good sized bull come fall a little view of the glacier this morning Looks a little dark that way. The sun's still up over there though. This is the trail up the top of the lookout right here. We're camped off the other end. Walk around and then come up through here, go over. And we got a little spot right by that tree. It's kind of carved into the side of the hill. We got a rock and brush windbreak. And even when the wind's blowing off that glacier, which it normally does, you're fairly protected up here. But this is the little morning hike. That's our little wind break right there. Trail comes down. Got a little log bench. Sit right here in the corner, covered from the wind. And we mostly just try to glass these hills here, that flat by the glacier, and then down along this river. There's a bunch of faces over here that you can see too, but just crossing the river. And then there's a big gorge right here. Makes it kind of harder to hunt that side. So we're mainly focused in here, this flat, and then over by the glacier. We see some tracks following the river, big grizzly tracks. And that's what my bear did last spring. And a couple other people I know that hunt out here said that that's pretty common for them to do that. The bears will come down this way, they hit that river and they follow it. And uh, 
this line of trees right there is like 350 and this back line is like four so anything on this side of the river like on my side or anything in between it's probably a pretty fair game from where we're at But if we see anything too high up in the mountains or on this other side, we're gonna have to watch it for a while. Make sure he's hanging out. Cause it's gonna take quite a it's gonna take some time to get over there. And bears don't stay still. It's kind of a rule of thumb that you don't chase them. You'll never catch up to them. You gotta try to get in front of them. Or if you're lucky, maybe they'll walk in front of you. But they can move a lot better than I can. Let's get set up for the morning and start the lesson. Now he went down in the brush, but he's He's right at the bottom, kind of tip of where my finger is, in between those two patches of snow. He's out there probably a half a mile. But they've been hanging out. There's a cow too. They've been hanging out pretty much on that face for the last couple days. The bull was down here by the river last night. No bears yet this morning. We just had a helicopter fly in out of the pass. And he's down here at the glacier. You see him? Some kind of sightseeing tour or something, probably. as you are there's seems like you can't get away from people nowadays there's always someone around I think we're actually planning on grabbing our stuff maybe walking over here and going and checking out the glacier ourselves. maybe we can get over here on some of these knobs and glass back at a different angle. Hiking down off the knob and get a couple. There's one over there too and there goes that one. There's been quite a few of them hanging around camp. There's probably half a dozen of them running around. There's a glass of knob back there. The lake behind it. Came up off that, came around. There's a couple lakes up here, glacial ponds. halfway to the glacier and we can already see some like this this whole face right here we can't see any of that from the knob so we're hoping to get back in here and look back get a little bit different angle some different views might find a bear up there still made it to the glacier and Rick took off without me but we came down off this knob and there's a another grizzly track here so there's 
definitely a couple bears that have been in the area. This is what it looks like. Got my hand. It's a pretty good one. But we're three quarters of the way to the glacier now. We're gonna to try to get up on one of those knobs right close to it and take some good pictures and videos and maybe have lunch. If we're lucky, we'll run into a bear in the meantime. Or, I mean, we, we could walk a little closer over there. We're pretty happy with this view. Figured it was a good place to have a snack. And we can look back and glass all this. Look for some bears. for the night.